And we said it would get worse, and it is that slippery slope of banning people from using internet services has actually come to pass. And one of the things that we were deeply, deeply worried about from the 1984 idea is actually starting to happen a lot quicker than we had imagined. Now, for those of you that don't know, Mr. James Wood is kind of a, a Hollywood actor, somewhat somewhat of a pundit, I agree. I think if you look over his Twitter page a little bit, he's a rather outspoken conservative, and, part, and I guess he's been kind of prodding at the Democratic advertisement campaigns on Twitter. So around two months ago, he made a post that looks like this. Here you see uh, James Wood, it says, pretty scary that there's a distinct possibility that this could be real. Not likely, but this day and age, absolutely anything liberal insanity is at least possible. And as you can see here, it's, uh, uh, I think, fairly obviously a joke. It's kind of aimed, obviously, uh, James Wood does have a satirical background. He has done comedy before, so it's not out of the range of possibility for him to be posting something that's supposed to be satire. So obviously that's what it was. But... Twitter actually came out and banned him for, or temp temporarily banned him for this post, stating that it could actually be able to cause a change in the uh, the voting booth. So um, let's see where uh, there's actually a quote here from Twitter itself. Okay, it says according to the screenshots provided by um, a, an associate of Mr. James Wood here. Twitter directed the actor to first delete the post on the grounds that it contained text and imagery that has the potential to be misleading and could impact an election. So this is the problem. If you can, if your minds are changed by satire and joke and you think that is the biggest deal on the election, and now Twitter can make a move to ban you because of the pending election, this is exactly, exactly the dangerous territory that we said we were getting into when Alex Jones got banned. And we said it was a very, we are not the only people that saying this, obviously. <sighs> Because how stupid do you have to be to think to yourself that, oh, if we can just ban one person, yeah, we can get away with just suspending one person. But this is getting outrageous. This was obviously a meme by James Wood. And the one apparent, here we go, it says, in other words, James Wood, who has approximately 1.72 million followers, was apparently suspended because liberals who don't identify as women might actually take the meme seriously and potentially not vote. And in a statement released to the associate Sarah Miller Woods, you are a coward at Jack Dorsey. And I agree there, Mr. Twitter, uh, apparently supposedly not biased at all. Bullshit. I call bullshit. This is ridiculous. This is this is a free speech uh, capping on conservative satire, and that is a hundred percent a free lane of travel. And nowadays, if you uh, if you're not playing in the open source media game, you're going to become a dinosaur because people already do not trust social media. In a mass exodus, children uh, and myself, I'm going to call myself a kid here. I'm so playful and young at heart are leaving the social media sphere, and here's why. And this is one of the reasons why blockchain can become so powerful. We cannot, we cannot stop people from posting satire. It is probably one of the most detrimental things we've ever had, because if you cannot think critically and for yourself realize that this post is a, is a joke, then you're broken. Yes. Oh, this is obviously true. Yes, of course. I go to Twitter for all my news truth to begin with. No, people need to be able to come up with their own conclusions. So there's a few good quotes here uh, around the idea as well. So Sarah Miller, I think, made a great post, call, I guess, calling Jack Dorsey out. He's the CEO of Twitter, calling him a coward, um, saying that there is no free speech for conservatives. Now, it's not just conservatives. This is going down the trail line of anyone posting anything that gets in the way of the uh, I guess, status quo. And that's where things get dangerous because that's where we know totalitarian governments or tyrannical, be uh, whatever dictators can take control of the existing infrastructure and really dialogue. And, and I, I get in 1984, they called it the ministry of truth is that we will allow only, uh, to, we will tell you what truth is. And if we don't believe it, then we won't post it. And this is the difference. This is the difficult part. If you can't tell that what James Wood is saying here is a joke, then you don't b deserve to be on the internet. You don't even deserve a mouse or a, a keyboard. You should probably be put somewhere else. And that the difficult problem here is, again, if you can't understand the difference between these things, you have lost critical thinking a long time ago. And that's what we're trying to build, allowing freedom for thought, freedom for information, freedom to say whatever you want. It actually provides a marketplace for the freedom of ideas, which means if you bring some dumbass idea to the marketplace and nobody likes it, we're not going to let it fly. No, we won't. Then there's a reason why we won't let it fly. It's because it's stupid. 
This is stupid. We can't keep doing this. So Jack Dorsey, you idiot. See, Twitter, you dumb people. This is exactly the slippery slope that you are sliding down now, and it is devastating to watch. Um, and James Wood comes out here on September 8th, and he actually makes a great statement. He says, I've never read Alex Jones, nor have I watched any of his videos or presence on the internet. A friend of mine told me he was an extremist, and believe me that I know nothing about this man. That said, I think banning him from the internet is a slippery slope. Look at us. Yes, I agree. That's almost a meme review. Pootie pie. Pootie pie. You should meme review that. This is ridiculous. Anyways, uh, as you can see, a few of the other pundits like Paul Joseph Watson comes out. It says, nothing whatsoever happened to Peter Fonda after he tweeted his desire to see Baron Trump locked up in cage with other pedos. James Wood was locked up for sh simply sharing a satirical meme. And uh, Kathy Griffin, I believe, posted a picture of Donald Trump's head cut off and still did not get banned from Twitter. So there's something obviously wrong here. You can't do this because this is exactly what bias looks like. So Twitter, thank you for signing your own death warrant and nailing coffins in your own friggin' graves, uh, uh, nailing nails in your own coffin, carving your own gravestone. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, I wanted to touch base on this because we just did a video about Alex Jones being kicked off of PayPal yesterday. Um, people are like, oh, Alex Jones did all these bad things. Well, what did James Woods do? James Woods did absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to follow him. I'm going to retweet some of these tweets here just for fun. But the you can, we can't just we can't do this. This is getting uh, more and more dangerous. And the and the aspects of um, the aspects of freedom of speech are so noticeable right now. So I don't know what it takes. Make some other tweets. Make some memes. Whatever it might be, people need to be informed. If so I guess if you like this content, give us those thumbs up. If you're new to the Bear Family, remember to hit that bell and subscribe. That way you will be notified anytime we go live. Uh, if you're also new to the Bear Family, please join the Telegram channel in the links below. We do keep a great conversation brewing over there and stoking the fire with all of our wonderful ideas in the background. I'm going to be signing off for the rest of the day. I'm going to go help clean the beach of the garbage with some locals and hopefully make a vlog about why working with your community is one of the best things you can do. This is Tia with the Arcane Bear signing off for the rest of the day, and we'll see you guys on the other side.